Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On International Women's Day, it's fitting that I rise today to honor and remember Mrs. Betty Griffo of Rome, New York, who served, served our community with distinction. Mrs. Griffo passed away this January at the age of 94, surrounded by her loving family. Betty was a hardworking seamstress for 15 years and a woman of great faith, having been a longtime member of St. John the Baptist Church, where she impacted so many lives through her intentions and rosaries. Her personal struggle to fight and defeat cancer is a stirring example of her courage and tenacity. Betty's compassion for others is revealed by her commitment to help so many others through her involvement with the Relay for Life organization. Betty's legacy of community service has been passed down to her son and my longtime colleague and friend, New York State Senator Joseph Griffo. Betty instilled her wisdom, tenacity, and compassion in Joe, who employs those key qualities each day that he serves us in government. We are so grateful to Betty, her late husband Joe, and their son, Senator Joe Griffo, for their kindness and generous service to our community. My deepest condolences to the Griffo family on the loss of Betty Griffo, a beautiful mother, aunt, sister, and deeply devoted community volunteer.